All right. Um, what's going on over here? You in the back of this place? Okay, I was going to get married into that musclehead Timothy. I've loved her since I was a baby. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to live? Wow. I was 18 angst, but it looks like a little kid. I don't think he's a teen yet. Life can be so unfair. How old is this kid? He's like five. His babysitter's getting married. Oh, hello, Faye. Are you here to see Alice? Actually, it's customary that we don't let any men in to see the bride today, but you can be an exception. All right. Everybody likes me here. Alice's aunt. Why, hello, Faye. Have you come to visit our Alice? She's upstairs right now. But doesn't time fly? It has already been 10 years since my brother and his wife passed away. We did our best to raise the two children in their place. But now, as far as Alice is concerned, I can finally say my job is done. I know Timothy will take good care of her from here on. Now all that's left is Dan. I'm gonna have a hard time raising him to adulthood. <laughs> Alice's parents died 10 years ago. Faye's only been in town for three years. I don't think that's related. That's a colorful wedding dress. Hello, Alice. Is that your wedding dress? Oh, Faye, you startled me. She's got a portrait. Is she a party member? I guess a lot of people have portraits actually come to think of it. Never mind. There's no way Dan's a party member, right? <laughs> Timothy had one too, didn't he? Never mind. All right, I just finished it. It took more work than expected. You did a great job there. It'll look wonderful on you, Alice. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> we both talk at the same time. What is it? Oh, nothing. I see. Um, oh yes, that's right. Faye, have you seen Dan? Yeah, he's outside, bragging as always. Ugh, kid, I just told him I had to run an errand for him to run. An errand for him to run. Oh yeah, what kind of errand? It's for my wedding ceremony tomorrow. I was hoping he could go borrow a camera and some lights from Dr. Azuki up on the mountain peak. If that's all it is, I'll be glad to do it for you. Could you? Oh, but I couldn't possibly. Don't worry, it's no problem. Anyway, it doesn't exactly make me feel comfortable having Dan handle such delicate instruments. What's more, I might have a chance to eat some of Yui's cooking if I go to the doctor's place. <laughs> that's my Faye. Well, I'll go up there now and get them for you. Oh, Faye, wait. Huh? Is there something else you want me to get from Saiten? No, it's not that. Faye, have you ever thought about things this way? If, if you had only been born in this village, and if we had known each other earlier on... Oh wow, does she want to marry Faye? She likes Faye better than Timothy? Don't want to be saying that on the day before your wedding. It's nothing, I'm sorry. Well, I think I'd better get going now. <laughs> Awkward. Oh, okay. Be careful on that mountain path and give my regards to Dr. Azuki. Or Timothy. Does <laughs> Shire. It's not too late, Alice. That's true, she hasn't said I do. But knowing JRPGs, I don't think her and Timothy are gonna live. I think Alice is dead. She's dead, dead, dead girl walking. That's my guess. They're really setting her up to be like the perfect person to kill at the beginning of the game. I feel so foolish, who am I kidding? Everybody we've met is tied to Alice. 
everybody loves t uh, Faye, but then you know your best friend's Tim, who's marrying her. The little boy Dan is her brother, and he loves you, and in fact wants you to marry her instead of Timothy. You're friends with her. She actually likes you. Uh, she is just signing her own death warrant. So we need to go up into the mountains. Oh, okay, we got a world map. Look at this. Oh, we can see the world map down here in the bottom right. All right, so this top largest continent up here is Ignis, right? Oh, you can see the building up on top of the mountain there. Oh, oh, battles on the world map, okay. Little kobolds. <laughs> they did one damage, all right. They only have 50 health, though. So. Oh, that one did zero, all right. Attack. Uh, okay, I see. Punch, punch, punch. Okay, does progressively more with each punch. I feel like a bomb arrow? Regular arrow did more. All right. Um, punch, punch. Okay, did... Mm, oh, okay, no, maybe not. Do you need 25 damage either way? And then if you just do a three, it's 32 damage. But is that if we just do fierce every time that we would regret it later, right? I like how the enemies just kind of burst into blood. But, okay, so we got HP, EP, level T experience and experience, tech experience maybe? Fencing cap. All right, we got, uh, we got a piece of armor maybe? So we can grind items off of monsters. Good to know. Check out this cap. All right, that's interesting. All the bars go down. It gives plus one defense. It looks like. Okay. Mountain path. Here we go. Each one of your attacks essentially levels in the background through use. Oh, and combinations do as well to unlock death blows. So, okay, so weak, strong, and fierce all level up, and then the combinations level up too. That's crazy. All right, we'll have to figure that out. This way, walking course, watch out for cliffs. That way, doctor's house, right after the bridge. All right, let's go. Um, let's check the not ooh, save point. We'll check the non doctor's path first, I think. See if we can find any items. I like the sound effect of the save. It's a <laughs> like charging up the save there. Yeah, the game kind of freezes for a minute after you come out of a menu sometimes. All right, random battles. We got used to random battles again. Oh, was there another enemy over there on the other side? All right, let's do punch, punch, punch. All right, so that does like eight, eight points per hit. Yeah, there was a jackal, okay. So he spent his turn moving. Let's do triangle square. It's eight and then, okay. Um, square punch. Okay. It's just straight up X. All right. Let's see if we can see. Let's check our menu real quick. I want to see. Um, can we tell how much XP we need to level. Level one experience fifteen. Next level one. We see one more point of XP. Skills, death blows, nothing. Abilities, guided shot. So I'm guessing it says it'll show you the death blows that you've wor you're working on. We're just not working on it yet. Not far enough in. 
I was wondering if it was going to be like Chrono Trigger where you can like see your next tech that's coming up and how many TP you need. Oop. Hello. There's a chest. Aquasol. Those are 50 health, right? Potions. Alright, what are these things called? Are there names anywhere? Hmm. Triangle Square. Oh, I missed. Jackals. Okay, these are jackals. I was curious if they had the same names as monsters in Xenoblade. It doesn't look like it. Jackal Tackle. <laughs> Jackal Tackle. Death blows are combinations always ending in X. Right now, I can't do a combination ending in X because X takes all of my points. I guess I could if I saved up points, right? I could like store points and then do it next turn. Ooh, level up. All right. Okay. Basically one to everything. I'm like inside the tree. Okay. Let's try this. Let's do, um... Square cancel. We store up that one AP so we can try to do triangle, triangle X. No? That didn't work. Oh, was it still my turn? Maybe I didn't save it. Oh, wait, we're getting low on HP. Item, Aquasol. Okay. Attack, let's do... Square. Cancel. All right, so we have four AP now. And then... Do... On this guy, triangle X. I want to let me do X. I, I can't use I can't use four AP at a time right yet. Maybe. Yeah, it won't let me use more than three at a time, even if I save it up. Store points are used at the combo menu, but you need to have learned death blows already. All right, so I, I cannot do a combination that ends in X other than just X right now because I can't get more than three points per turn. I can't use more than three points per turn. Okay. So maybe I just need to level up before I have to worry about that. Because they said that how many points you get is based on your level. Dakazuki's house is over the bridge and to the north. All right. There's a chest over there. Well, that's quite a ways over, actually. It looks close from this, like, this camera angle, but it's it's not. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good old platforming in a 2D, 3D RPG. <laughs> could be worse. It could be, like, Alundra. I love Alundra, but the platforming in that game, oh, my God. We do the most damage with just straight up X. If I do triangle, 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 this is like 27. If we do just X, we do like 32. Shake the tree. It's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, what's on here? Maybe nothing. Exploration is not going to be as easy in this one because we um. We 
many random battles. Combat system so far though, this combo system's kinda interesting. Okay, so what did that say at the beginning? Okay, this is if we had gone left. It was kinda looped back around. that other chest we saw oh it's you Faye. the cliff's edge collapsed from heavy rain we had recently you're all right Faye. you can do a big jump and get across it but i'm too scared it's easy watch me say hello to the doctor for me <laughs> oh <Booyah. laughs> yeah you can shake the trees it's kind of cute Oh, there's a chest down there. Oh, I don't know if I trust this bridge. All right, looks like we can just get back up if we go down here. So can we just... Yep. Another Aquasol. That's good. It's our only way of healing right now. <laughs> I don't think there's any point to shaking the trees. It's just something you can do. He absorbed. All right. Hey, thanks for the follow. Let's see this level. We got three more HP. One EP, one attack, and one defense. Okay. It's Hob Jerky. Is that another healing item? Let's check that out. These guys are dropping it. Restores 50 HP, but not in battle. Okay. Interesting. So this only works outside of battle. Let's use one. Whoa, what the hell? Is that like a spider or something that came out of the tree? Let's see if we can start a fight with that thing. this. Can I do something to it? Yeah, I caught a spider. <laughs> okay. To go with the web that I got? This way to Dr. Saiten Izuki's house. Any spiders in the other trees? No? That's a cool looking house. What are these? Chickens? <laughs> what is this thing? It's like a flying four-legged neck thing. That's cool. Hmm. 
turkeys. All right. It's like gold box. Something is carved in some small letters in the corner. Celebrating my daughter's birth. May all the dreams, courage, and love in the world be yours. Check the flower boxes along the house. Like these ones here. There's one over here. Found some bird seed. Cool. Tried a little bit, but it didn't taste very good. There's some more flower beds. No, these are the only ones. Oh, found ah, Midori's ring. Okay. Put the ring away secretly. I wonder who Midori is. The chest? There's a chest. Can't open it though. It's not on the floor. It makes a noise when you step on it. Huh. Why would you suddenly decide, hey, you know what? Let's try some bird seed. I mean, it was there and he was hungry, so you know. Found some Aquasol. Nice. I mean, Faye also collected spider webs earlier, so I mean, <laughs> he's just a dude that does things. I don't know. And a spider. I'm carrying around a spider. I don't even have like a jar or anything. I'm just carrying a spider. Ooh. Do you want to look through the telescope? Yeah. Can control it. You can see like the waves out there. Look at that. PS1 game with ocean physics. <laughs> I don't see anything beyond the town, really. At least not yet. Okay, that's probably the woods they were talking about that leads to Ave, right? They said there was a, uh, I forget the name of it, there was a forest that you have to go through to get to the desert kingdom of Ave. So I'm guessing the desert's on the other side of those mountains. Which would mean this is probably south. Which would mean that the empire was that way? Not much land left that way. Actually, come to think of it. it we're surrounded by water almost. That's like the only way to go. Hmm. That's right, it builds character. Hmm. All right, how do we get back down? Yeah, there we go. Can't read the kanji. I don't know that one. <laughs> oh. He's got a globe in there. The Sighton knows the earth is round. Oh no! No fall damage, that's good. Alright. Let's go in the house. Thanks for the tip about the uh, flower planter too. That was, uh, seems like a good find. Let's just check out the ring. Is it equipable? Or is it like a key item, I wonder? I don't see it in here like the mermaid tier and stuff. The spider, it wiggles and squiggles. <laughs> I'm just carrying around the dang spider. And it's web. You're weird, Faye. Can I... It doesn't look like it's equipable, so it's probably some kind of key item. I can't even see it in my inventory.
Yui. Oh, Faye, welcome. So yeah, her name's Yui. Her name's not Midori. Hello, Yui. Where's Doc? My husband is tinkering with his junk out in the backyard. Wasn't I just back there? I should have guessed. Doesn't he ever get sick of playing with that stuff? Well, okay, then I'll go out in the backyard and see if I can find him. Oh, maybe you're Midori. Yep. Hey, Midori, it's a nice day to play outside. How about we feed the birds later? Midori's like, I know you already ate the bird seed. I was watching. Now right, we can't seem to give Midori to keep the ring at the moment. I'm guessing now that she told us he's out there, he's just going to be out there now. Mm. Is he up here? No, he's not there. Is he going to be in here now? Where are you, Doc? What the hell? What's going on? Oh, this is no good. Why do they use such inferior parts? This is why their intervention strat. Oh, there he is. Doc. So that's where you were. Oh, Faye. Good to see you. Are you alright, Doc? What are you doing all the way up there? I thought I would try to restore this land crab. Oh, and that explosion was nothing to worry about. It happens all the time. <laughs> Oh, could you wait for a while? I just, I'm just about ready to call it a day. Oh yes, there's something interesting in the storeroom. Why not take a look at it? Okay, Doc, I will, but please hurry up. It'll be dark before you know it. I heard you saw it. You saw about that gold thing? It had something like written on it. Celebrating my daughter's birth, may all the dreams, courage, and love in the world be yours. So this is what Doc was talking about. Let me see. What's so interesting about it? Wow. Oh, it opens up. Like a statue in there? It's got fog. <laughs> what? What is this? The music box with particle effects? What is this song? This music, I've heard it before somewhere. What do you think? Not bad, huh? Doc. Hello again, Faye. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Music is a mysterious thing. Sometimes it makes people remember things that they do not expect. Many thoughts, feelings, memories, things almost forgotten, regardless of whether the listener desires to remember them or not. Doc, what is this? It was excavated from some old ruins and is still under repair. Obviously, it's an audio device of some sort. This is from the ancient civilization. Long ago, people would listen to this melody, just as we are doing now, and Faye recognized it? Is Faye from the ancient civilization? Is he like in cryostasis for thousands of years or something? At times, they would have cheered up, been cheered up, while at times they would have been made to cry. By the way, what brings you here today? Oh yeah, that's right. Alice asked me to borrow some camera equipment for you, from you. Oh yes, her wedding is tomorrow, right? Understood. Well, you better get them ready then. Oh, and dinner should be ready soon. Would you like to join us? Would I ever? I was hoping you would ask. I still have some cleaning up to do out here. Would you mind giving Midori some company back in the house? Okay, take your time, Doc. I'll go ahead and eat when dinner is ready. <laughs> go right ahead. But I will not be held responsible if you get a stomach ache from eating my wife Yui's cooking. 
Doc, I feel strange when I listen to this music. I feel something warm inside. It just may be because you have someone living inside of you. What? What does that mean? <laughs> and he too must have liked this music a long time before he became part of you. You talking about my lost memories? Or being creepy? You can't tell. Dot dot dot. Is Timothy and Alice's wedding really tomorrow? It might actually be better to live an ordinary life in this condition. As a son of man. What? Well, anyways, I suppose I better adjust the gyro at least. Huh. This cannot be. Is this... Is this an omen? Now, what is going to happen? What does he mean living as a son of man? Is he not human? <laughs> 